Ladies and gentlemen, you have bad economic news, yet the Dow is up because of Merck's um, promising treatment, whatever. Hit subscribe to the Stock Market Crash channel. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to read you this. Before I read you today's consumer spending, or I should say inflation, hitting a 30-year 30, 30 high. Consumer spending accelerates its, as Fed's inflation measure hits fresh 30-year high. Okay, core PCE, which includes food and energy, rose 3.6% year-over-year in August. It's only going to get worse. I mean, you can listen to Michael Burry, Jeremy Grantham. Um, there are so many... Uh, Charlie Munger. Well, actually, Warren Buffett is more bearish than I think Charlie Munger is. But you can look at these billionaires talking about the market and how inflated it is because of $10 trillion in fiscal stimulus and monetary stimulus, six trillion in stimulus payments from the government, and three point three trillion in counting in terms of Federal Reserve quantitative easing. Consumer spending accelerated last month despite an uptick in cases and core personal consumption expenditures price and the core personal consumption expenditures price index, the Federal Reserve's preferred inflation measure, hitting a fresh thirty year high for the third straight month. Personal income rose 0.3 percent, but in with inflation, you have a loss of two percent, I think, in salaries, outpacing the 0.2 percent month. Of, okay, da, da. while consumer spending rose 0.8 percent in August, consumer prices rose 0.4 percent in August from July, <laughs> the same increase from previous month. Core PCE, which includes food and energy, rose at 3.6 percent year over year. It's only going to get worse because you have a labor. We have a labor shortage, and we have a supply chain shortage. This was all, of course, because of the self-induced catastrophe uh, perpetuated perpetuated upon us by uh, wonderful experts and authorities and media, and especially Democrats, who said, "Hey, let's tank the economy, and maybe this will harm Trump." Um, if you say, "Well, you know, there were other concerns. It was to keep people safe." Um, all right. Do you think that we can get into it? What's the average age of the United States labor force? About 42, 43 years old, 160 plus million Americans. Do you think it was wise to prevent the entire labor force from working last year and then just artificially inflate the economy as if nothing ever happened? You can't rebound from that type of catastrophe. It was a self-induced Paranoid, hysterical response to a very serious issue. Cancer and heart disease ended, ended the lives of more Americans last year. But again, this is a, an economic catastrophe that was um, created by politics primarily and by a, a very hysterical and paranoid interpretation of data. You prevent people from working, and then you have now labor shortages. We lost 22 million jobs. We still have around 10 million that we haven't um, brought back. And many of those jobs won't ever be brought back because many of those companies and restaurants and businesses are gone forever, unfortunately. Hit subscribe to this channel right now because of the wonderful politicians who wanted to keep us safe. Hit subscribe to this channel the stock market crash channel. There's going to be a stock market crash. Be on my main channel tonight at around 8 p.m. Pacific, probably 8 p.m. or so Pacific, for the live stream on H.A. Goodman. I'm going to be doing four segments a day from here on out indefinitely, forever, hopefully, on this channel. And I don't want a, a crash to take place, but unfortunately it's going to happen. And you look at... The data, or you look at the the bizarre uh, contradictions. We have an economy that is has essentially a sort of Damocles hanging over it. We don't know what the catalyst will be, but there will be a catalyst to pop this inflated bubble. Ten trillion dollars in stimulus and and 
monetary and Federal Reserve quantitative easing. You have labor shortages now, and you have jobless claims up. You have labor shortages now, and you have jobless claims up. Can you please explain that to me in the comments section? Can you also explain to me in the comments section how you have consumer spending accelerating, yet household uh, household durables, high prices, listen to this, in Fortune magazine, the article would be below, House uh, high prices on household durables lead to worst buying conditions since 1980. Then you have U.S. consumer sentiment mired at near-decade lows, University of Michigan finds. So, that's the CBS Market Watch article. You have consumer sentiment at a low not seen since over a decade. <clears throat> you have consumer spending accelerating simply because we were allowed... Mommy and daddy and government and uh, authorities and experts allowed everybody to, to go out and, and live their lives, live their lives and, uh, you know, be functioning adults uh, because that's what we need. And so consumers were willing to spend more for goods and services, which is why you, the biggest reason you have record highs in corporate profits. So if you don't have corporate profits and free money, um, playing with the house's money in the casino, the $10 trillion in quantitative easing and fiscal stimulus, one out of every $5 was created essentially by the Federal Reserve, by one estimate. And so explain to me in the comments section how you have this bizarre outcome with consumer sentiment at a low not seen since 2008 or so. But inflation increasing and it's rampant and it's not transitory and it's only going to get worse in part because consumers now are buying a little bit more because they've been allowed to leave their homes for the past year and you have uh cargo and shipping uh and, and, and cargo ships container ships docked outside long beach outside california you have supply chain shortages where there are businesses that can't get their um, inventory from China or other countries. What, what will the catalyst be? I don't know what the catalyst is going to be. Could be a hedge fund that goes under. Could be a sharp decline in the market of 2,000 points or so or 1,000 points or 1,500 points that leads to an absolute catastrophe and hedge funds going under, and then banks possibly going under, and then bank bailouts possibly. We don't know. We, we Evergrande, Evergrande, Archegos, I've talked about these, these near bankruptcies or bankruptcies of hedge funds and the second largest real estate corporation in China. So, and then you had the GameStop fiasco with Reddit earlier, earlier this year. There are so many things going on with record high margin debt. But just today, inflation, the core index for the Federal Reserve shows that inflation is at a 30-year high. That The article is below. Tell me why there isn't going to be a stock market crash. Because I'm telling you, there will be. And it's going to be devastating. Save your money every month. If you're on margin, get off of margin. <clears throat> you can't. You shouldn't be trading on margin now. That is the absolute worst thing you could ever do because the, mo the market is volatile. And we've seen three 500-point drops in the past two weeks. And I told people the beginning of September, I said, it's going to tank. And what if, what's been taking place? I predicted these corrections. I will predict also... The market crash. Unfortunately, save your money every month. So, oh, I don't want to go into a savings account. Inflation's like, you know what? You'll be able to buy things on sale because, unfortunately, things that people, businesses are going to go under again, and we're going to have, unfortunately, an economic 
situation because of policies primarily from Democrats and media and weak and ineffective Republicans who just go along like Mitt Romney with Democrats. You can't tank society and the American economy and expect to rebound. That's absolutely insane. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right now. 30 year, essentially a 30 year high in inflation, or at least the index that the Federal Reserve looks at. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe right now. Be on my main channel, H.A. Goodman, at uh, around 8 p.m. tonight. Thank you.